In this tutorial, we'll look at blemish removal using frequency separation in Photoshop. So we'll take this image from this to this with focus on removing blemishes. Obviously, this image has been fully retouched with dodge and burn and other stuff. If you want a full tutorial on how to do those, I will include a link in the description so you can check it out. But this tutorial focuses mainly on blemish removal using frequency separation. So we'll take this image from this to this. Now let me zoom in so you can have a look at it well. So from this to this. What's up guys? Welcome to Ghana Photography. I'll take you through blemish removal using frequency separation in this Photoshop tutorial. We'll go through a non-destructive blemish removal process. There are various ways of blemish removal, but what works best for me is using frequency separation and the clone stamp tool. So that's what I'll take you through today. If we look at this image, let's zoom into 100% and already we can see the blemishes, these pimples all over her face. It's easy taking these off, but if you don't do it well, you end up leaving some undesirable artifacts on her face. First of all, we'll have to identify the blemishes we want to take off before we even start. So let's run my frequency separation action. This is a system bit image that I brought in, so I have to use the system bit version. So this tutorial focuses mainly on blemish removal and with frequency separation the texture has been separated from the colors so we are going to be dealing with only the texture which uh, has most of the blemishes and that's the texture layer so let's select our clone stamp with the shortcut key, which is s and with this my flow usually is between 10 and 20 and some few things that you should note your sample should be the current layer if you select current and below it's going to affect the color layer also in fact let's choose all and let's see what happens when we try using that so let's sample somewhere you press and hold option you sample a good part and then brush on so you see what's happening this is because we selected all layers it's the same thing when you select current and below it give you the same result and that's not what you want so you always make sure you select current layer and as you can see that is working so let's zoom in a bit to 100 percent then let's select our clone stamp and then as usual you change the size of the stamp using your bracket open or close buttons on the keyboard so let's select a good area and then we brush over. So by doing that, we are hiding the blemishes one after the other. Some of the blemishes will be very stubborn that the clone stamp cannot take care of so we'll use a different tool for that so for now let's take the blemishes that the clone stamp can take care of With this sampling, I'll advise you sample from somewhere close to the blemish you want to remove. And because I'm using a Wacom tablet and pen, I'm able to use the pen pressure to define the area I want. If you're using a mouse, then you would have to sample the same size as the blemish.
so to sample an area don't forget you press and hold on option click release it and then you brush and also I've chosen to use a very soft brush for this because I want it to blend into the surrounding areas now let's try using just a hard brush and see what happens so you see that affects just that place it might work for you sometimes it might not but I prefer using soft brushes so they can blend in well with the surrounding areas so we are able to take off some of the blemishes with the clone stamp but as I said some of them would have to use a different tool so let's try the spot healing brush and see so with that also let's disable sample all layers and then what we do is just come here and then brush. so that's much more easier so with that you just have to click on and it will use content aware to try and replace the blemish with a good texture sometimes it gets it right sometimes it gets it wrong so you will have to do it over and over if that doesn't work then you can use the healing brush so let's try that also so with that just like the clone stamp you have to press on option sample an area and then you do it so with that also sample let's select current layer don't forget to check these settings you want it to be only on the current layer so we sample here then brush on sample and then brush on so if you do this before working on your color layer you realize that you have less blemishes to work with I personally don't like using the healing brush I always prefer the spot healing or the clone stamp so with this we've been able to bring down the blemishes so if we have our mixer brush on the color layer we can just go ahead and then the rest are mostly on the color layer so you see as we use the mixer brush those blemishes just vanish one after the other so this is how easy it is to take off blemishes using frequency separation and it's better in this case because you have already separated the texture from the color so you know exactly where each blemish is so that you don't end up messing up your image if you are enjoying this tutorial so far don't forget to drop a thumbs up for this video So let's look at before and now see we've easily been able to take off those blemishes i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching